Okay guys, I am back from Japan and I finally have time to put up a quick update video on the LV-10 sling pack from 511. For those of you guys who do not remember, this navy blue bag here is called the LV-10 and it's a 13 liter sling bag from 511. I did a head-to-head -head review on this against the 14 liter UCR medical pack. And uh, one of the things I didn't like about it that I mentioned in that video was the sling strap that was on it. It had this really huge wide sling. I didn't like it. You know, I took it to uh, I took it to Japan in May. It got super hot. Summer came a little bit early, and it was just miserable wearing that thick padded strap. I mean, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna go buy it like a bulk of a thousand rounds of nine mil, awesome bag. It would have distributed that load perfectly. For everybody else, for every other purpose, I really don't think you need a sling that was that wide. That was just that was overkill. So I cut that thing off. You can see over here. I took my soldering iron to it. So that way the frayed edges were no longer frayed. And up top over here on this one inch compression strap, I put a split key ring. I did the same thing for the bottom and on the top I also added a stitch to keep this thing from migrating and causing the thing to flip around. You can now wear this bag two ways. You can wear it pretty much like a, like a messenger over here, carry a little bit horizontal. And if you need to grab anything out of the bag, you just grab the sling and you flip it around. The other way you can wear it too, which I actually did 99% of the time in Japan, was like this. Main shoulder sling going from the right to the left waist, just like that. If I needed to grab anything out of the bag, I just undid this, the bag is still supported. Bring it around to my workspace, as uh, Chris Costa would say. <laughs> uh, grab whatever I need to grab out of there. You know, I usually have my gloves in there, I have like a water bottle or something. When you're on the train, when it's rush hour, you want to keep an eye on your bag. You don't want somebody to slice it open, take your passport. Or uh, in the case of Japan, I didn't want to knock over somebody's 285-year-old grandmother with this thing. So I would bring this into the front to make it as, uh, as less obtrusive, as least obtrusive as possible. Uh, what else can I say about this? Oh, I took this thing up to Yuzawa. Went snowboarding for the first time, ate shit a ton of times on the slope, and everything in the bag still stayed dry. That was amazing. So props to 511 on that. They did not build this bag as a waterproof bag, but even though it snowed on me, even though I ate it on the mountain, even though I got rained on, everything inside still stayed dry. I'm not saying this thing is a waterproof bag, however. I'm pretty sure if I submerged it, water would get in. But the way they laid out the zippers to keep everything out, you know what? It did an awesome job of that. So 511, if you're listening, if you guys do a updated version of this bag, I think it would probably fare well if you did a sling setup, something similar to this. This would make it a lot easier for 99% of the population, especially for us poor bastards here in Hawaii who have no CCW rights. That's about it, man. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know. See ya.